Hey, what's up YouTube? This is TJ. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys my fully customized uh, HTC Evo 4G. Just remember to do this, you do have to root your phone. You can find the process at um, XDA Developers. Um, if you need any assistance, I'm definitely a member over there and a regular poster. So definitely, you know, find me. It's TJ Duckin and ask for my assistance. I'll be more than glad to help. But anyway, here goes. And what I'm going to be showing off is the custom uh, boot screen, which is right here. Then we're going to be showing the uh, boot animation, which is next. And from there, we'll just go ahead and show the customized theme. It's really nice. There, the phone's just uh, loading up. It only takes about 20 to 30 seconds for it to load everything, but yeah. no service. I'm just preparing the SD card, um, custom lockdown screen, or whatever, slide down. So, shows that I have a missed call as well. But as you guys can see, um, I went on ahead and updated things like the clock colors, the icons, um, the taskbar, you know, pretty much everything. It's no longer a stock phone. Um, when I go ahead and do my drag down for my notifications, go ahead and clear what I've got out. Um, but if you look at the top notification that's been customized as well, as well as um, the drag down bar, and if I could do it from the other side, the other side also uh, shows the HTC Evo 4G logo that I made. And of course, this can slide right back up. Now, from this end or whatever, of course, this is the phone in the middle. Um, go ahead and go back to the home screen. This is to, of course, add widgets and things like that. Um, and this is, of course, like the app launcher, you know what I mean? So. And of course this has the different um, screens and things like that, um, but even right here I went ahead and updated the front stream to say Kuma st screen, stream, if you can't see that, um, yeah, pretty much every application widget that I could I went ahead and um, redid, so, yeah, I got you back guys. Um, you know, the black transparent um, widgets instead. But we'll go ahead and look at the music uh, thing. Go ahead and trick that out too. I like the red load up screen better. Um, I went with red and black for this, but we're just going through. I went ahead and changed the default album covers because I didn't like them too much. Um, but we'll go ahead and back out of here takes a second to load up but as you can see I changed the buttons and these game icons are different as well but go ahead and press on uh -oh. turn the volume down but the cool thing is now when I turn back on the phone like I said the default album covers changed too so go ahead and slide that back down but even my phone dialer I went ahead and changed that up too so now, um, I can go ahead and press 1 for my voicemail, and as you can see, that's different. Go ahead and change in that call. Um, yeah, it says I have a call in progress, which is not right. So. I keep pressing the power button. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my custom theme. 
Um, you know, if anybody has any questions, wants a theme developed, boot animations, things like that, I do do graphic work for um, a fee, not gonna lie. Um, I have a full time job, so it really does take me going out of my way to do this stuff for people. But if you want to, either private message me on here or at XDA Developers, which is even better because that's where I do a lot of my business for the phone aspect. Um, and yeah. Thanks for looking at my theme, and yeah, Kumasa. Thanks.